Coming up on Ask the Tech Guy, can you run Linux on your Macintosh? This is Twit. Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass, the number one most preferred password manager. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Hello, everybody. Tom, once again, for Ask the Tech Guy. Your questions, my answers. Our question today comes from Maggie. She writes, I've used Linux either by partitioning and a primary install on a Windows computer hard drive for years. Recently, I moved over to a MacBook Pro. Now, I want to run a Linux distro from an external drive, plug it into my USB-C MacBook Pro without having to install on the MacBook Pro primary drive. I've used Red Hat, Mandriva, SUSE, Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora. I've installed on Windows primary drive, also on an external drive without any issues. I want to get back into using Linux. I need to find a good way to install without too much of a headache like in the old days. Hope you can help, writes Maggie. I am a Linux fan, as you know. In fact, honestly, the reason I like Linux is kind of the same reason I like Mac OS. They're both based on the older Unix operating system created in the 70s at Bell Lab. Unix is kind of the grandpappy of uh, operating systems. It's what Android is based on. It's what Chrome OS is based on. Mac is uh, based on a version of Unix called BSD. And I like it because you get a command line. You get uh, access to almost all the same tools you'd get on a Linux machine. So, And it's got a nice GUI. But it's absolutely possible to run Linux on a Mac. And I think the way you're doing it actually is probably the best way. You still get the benefit of Mac OS. And then have an external drive, and when you're in the mood for Linux, you can boot into it. So to start with, the beauty of the Macintosh is it's very easy to boot to an external USB drive. Simply hold down the Option key. Shut down your machine entirely. Hold down the Option key. Power it on. It'll look out at all the drives available with operating systems and give you a, a boot menu that says, OK, what do you want to start today? In your case, it'll say you want to be Mac OS or you want to be Linux. So that's the easiest thing. Of course, you're going to have to make that a bootable install disk. But really, that's no different than installing Linux on the internal drive. You're going to want to get a version of Linux that works with Macintosh. And this is probably the more difficult thing. Apple has a lot of proprietary hardware. A lot of the drivers are proprietary. So in many cases, not everything that we, you have on your Macintosh will work with a Linux operating system. Things like the touch bar, fingerprint readers, things like that may or may not work depending on you know, the state of the current distro and how many people have Macs and whether they've worked on software and whether they've been able to figure out how Apple did it and all of that. Uh, my favorite OSs should work pretty well on a Macintosh. Uh, I'm a big fan of Pop! OS, which is System76's version of Ubuntu. Ubuntu is known to be a very good choice for Macintosh computers. So if you're familiar with Ubuntu, um, you didn't mention it in your list, but you probably are familiar with it. It's probably the most used uh, version of Linux. It should run just fine. And because Pop! OS is based on Ubuntu, it should work as well. You, you need to do a Google search and look at the issues that people come up with. There may be a few workarounds. I think in some cases people are using Grub uh, instead of Systemd for the boot manager, things like that. Again, you're doing it a little bit easier because you're putting it on a completely separate disk. You don't even need a boot manager. You just need to be able to hold down that option key when you boot. The other version of Linux I would absolutely look at is Manjaro. I'm a big fan of Arch. Arch is what we call a rolling distribution of Linux. Ubuntu, you have two choices. You can do the LTS, the long-term service version. That doesn't get updated, but every couple of years, they only put security patches on it. It's nice if you want a really stable version of Linux, but you may not get the latest version of uh, LibreOffice, for instance, or some of the tools you use. Those aren't automatically updated. They just, again, just do security patches. Uh, there is a less a stable version of Ubuntu that's a little bit more up-to-date, but there's nothing like Arch's rolling Linux. That one, you're going to get the updates all the time. The only thing is, it does sometimes cause problems because you'll get an update that might break something else. It's always a good idea with any version of Arch that you look at the Arch wiki and the Arch uh, main website to see if there are any issues with any of the updates they're pushing out. 
but you'll always have the latest software. So that's one reason to look at an Arch-based distribution. If you're you know, good, you can make Arch work just fine on a Macintosh. Arch is designed to be built from scratch by you. It's a great way to learn how Linux works. I think you're ready for it, given all the ones you've installed. Manjaro is a version of Arch that has an installer that does all the hard work for you. And I love it. I think it's really great. Manjaro should work just fine uh, with Macintosh. Again, you want to Google uh, Mac OS and Manjaro. Make sure that there are any little fiddly bits that you've got those uh, settled. But if you want a rolling Linux, one that is constantly kept up to date, uh, then I think Manjaro would be a very good choice for your Mac. Ubuntu or its big brother Pop OS uh, for a kind of stable but not Always the latest version, uh, and then if you if you like uh, Arch, I think you'll love Manjaro. Both of those should run just fine. Again, you'll install them on the external drive, so that means, you know, pretty much what you're going to do is is do what you've already done, which is you'll download the installer, put it on a USB key, boot to that on your Macintosh, run the installer, and when it asks you where do you want me to install this, make sure be very careful you don't do the internal drive, you do that external drive, you format and install it as if it's a standalone version. And it should boot just fine. Enjoy Linux on your Macintosh. Now you've got the best of uh, both worlds. And thanks for writing. If you want to ask us a question, it's easy. All you have to do is email askthetechguy at twit.tv. And uh, I'll get to as many of the questions I, as I can. We're doing one a week. And so I'm sure I'll get to your question uh, as quickly as I can. Ask the tech guy at twit.tv. And of course, you got to subscribe. That way you'll get every episode. Check us out on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Our show, as always, brought to you by LastPass. Just remember your master password and let LastPass remember the rest. LastPass has some great new features with their business lineup. We're very excited about this. There's LastPass Enterprise. Now it includes a single sign-on technology with 1,200-plus pre-integrated apps. There's also LastPass multi-factor MFA. It goes beyond standard two-factor authentication by using biometrics and factors like geolocation. LastPass Identity combines the two. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit. And we'll see you next time on Ask the Tech Guy. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email Ask the Tech Guy at twit.tv.